Yo, what is going on lads? Welcome back. It has been a long, long time since I did a video and I want to explain this quickly and shortly now. I've just moved house. I've moved out. I've got a house on myself and my internet was meant to get installed last week. It didn't get installed. It's with Vodafone. Don't ask me why I went with Vodafone. They were the cheapest and they had the best broadband. So I joined them, then the engineer got delayed because of the stupid snow in the UK. God knows how that stops absolutely everything in the UK, but a little bit of snow stops the goddamn country, so the engineer didn't turn up. So the only way I'm uploading this video right now is Vodafone have gave me a 50 gigabyte SIM. I've put that in my phone and I've uploaded this video using my mobile data. So that is why there has been a lack of uploads. The internet is getting installed in two days on Monday, so... Soon, uploads will be back and streaming will be back. Trust me, lads, I'm going to be on that grind 24-7 now. Now, lads, I have missed, I've missed Call of Duty. I've, I've missed slagging Cod World War 2 off. It seems to have got a lot of hype this past week because of this shipment 1944, which, if you don't know, is a shitty remaster of one of the best maps in Call of Duty History and do you know what they're doing to hype it up to try and get that steal that steam off Fortnite and PUBG and the new Battlefield which has been leaked. They're giving it away for free. Now I know what you're saying, Harry. How how can you moan at a free map? I'm not moaning at the free map. I'm moaning at their methods of giving this free map away. If you look at them right now on Twitch, the game's laughable. It's not even in the top 30 games on Twitch. And they've got some goddamn live eSport events going on right now. And they're still only on like 2,000 viewers where Fortnite and PUBG, wow. And League of Legends, they're smashing the competition. COD is no longer this massive household name. Now, yes, everybody, everybody knows it. But everybody knows it, knows it from its past glories. Nobody thinks... You know what, lads? We're going to sit down tonight and play a bit of Call of Duty. They don't, Cod World War 2 don't pop in the red. When you say that to one of your friends, they'll think back to the good old days of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. No one thinks, you know what, lads? I'm going to play some Cod World War 2 tonight. We're going to suck that Cod cock and I'm going to buy some fucking supply drops. Yeah! Here, you can see the drastic, drastic decline of Call of Duty World War 2 in its natural habitat. You even have to scroll down past Casino and Dark Siders, which is a game which is over four years old, Slay the Spire, Clash Royale, which is a mobile game. Yes, that is correct. Mobile games are doing better on Twitch than COD World War 2. H1Z1, which is a game dead in the water, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, as you can see, when I say Call of Duty World War 2 is dead, that's not me being a hater. That is me stating the truth as an observer looking at COD World War 2 from the outside in. It's, it's dying boys and Activision are grabbing their asses and they are scared. Fortnite is making these big companies scared and it's, it's great. A free game is dominating the industry. Now, half the game's not free. The Battle Royale section of the game is free, which is what 90% of people know Fortnite as anyway. It's fantastic and PUBG a game, which is what, £20? Is the fucking these games up? What a triple A and forty-five pounds on release, and it's fantastic. And now Activision don't know what to do, so they've remastered one of the best maps, and they've managed to make it SJW trash. Anything in called World War Two is SJW trash because there's going to be women Nazi soldiers running around, black Nazi soldiers running around. There's just going to be women running around making goddamn orgasmic noises on the map and. All the weapons are still shit. Now guess what, lads? Guess what? 
the supply drop keeper, the, the keeper of the supply drops. That's who they've got narrating the trailer for this single map. Activision, do you have no shame? No shame whatsoever. Supplies has landed at HQ and now there's a heap of empty crates littering the beach. A new crop of supplies has landed at HQ. A new map. Shipment 1944. And before you get your bum hug as an award, remember, it's free. And before you get your bum hug as in a twist, it's free. Now that's just Activision saying, fuck you. We, 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 we want to take a dig at us customers because they complain that all the shit we have to pay for. So we'll put a little dig in there to say, oh, this map's free. It should be free, Activision. It's a remaster of a map which has already been released and you've charged for that in the past. On these previous Call of Duty games we've had to pay for fucking remasters and then you've had the goddamn audacity to label them as a new map pack when you haven't even made new maps. You've just redone an old map with better fucking graphics and that's the exact same shit they've done here but they've gave us something for free. Maybe they're learning from games like PUBG and Fortnite which keep giving Actually good updates every couple of weeks with tons of new stuff, new map variants, uh, different areas on the map. And they're thinking, wow, people keep coming back to these games and they keep playing them. Maybe we should put some free maps in. But they can't make a new map, can they? That's, that's too much hard work. So they'll remaster a map and then just slam tons of supply drops in the back of the game. Like I said from the damn beginning, lads. I'm sorry if any of you felt like you wanted to shoot yourselves in the head when I did that shit impression, but can these game companies now not do a promo which makes you want to claw your own eyes out because it's just so cringeworthy? I mean, come on! Don't get your nicks in twist, it's free. What the fuck is this? Did they just hire any random fucker on the street to do this voiceover work? Is voiceover work in video games dead right now? Because all these games, these really popular ones, don't seem to have an ounce of voice acting in. Fortnite's got barely any voice acting in. Uh, PUBG's got no voice acting in. But Activision, probably the richest games development and publishing company in the fucking world, hires some random fucking bloke off the streets. What the fuck are you playing at when Call of Duty is your marquee franchise? The same with Destiny 2. The voice acting in that game is goddamn awful. There's a couple characters, the main ones like Cade and Zavala have got decent voice acting. Then you, you meet that dude in the church on Earth and what the fuck? It's, it's like Activision. Right, interviews. You want a job? You want a job? You want a job? Shoot a line, shoot a line, shoot a line. And they'll just say, right, Bob, want a pint? And you're hired. I want a cheeseburger. You're hired. It's, <laughs> it's like, they, they can't say you're fired. You're fired like Alan Sugar. They just, you're hired, you're hired, you're hired. That must be the same for the games development as well. Because Call of Duty, lazier and lazier and lazier. And now, finally, it's been announced. The next Call of Duty is, unfortunately... Black Ops 4, now, I do still reserve a little bit of hope for that just because Treyarch are behind it. But their games are the most predatory for supply drops. Black Ops 3 had shitloads of weapon variants in, which pissed me off a lot. I mean, that's their only game with supply drops in. But I've got a feeling it's going to be back. The supply drops are going to be back now and worse than fucking ever. Unless they see what Fortnite's done and... They've took a massive gap in the industry and they're just going to put cosmetic only items in, which is what I fucking want. But if they're cosmetic and they're doing Vietnam, like some people say they are doing a modern setting, there's not going to be many cool cosmetic items they can put in unless they do some bullshit futuristic setting again where they could put cool clown suits and goddamn jetpack cosmetics. Please don't fucking do that. Please don't fucking do that. Right now, this, this video's gone on. For a bit too long, I basically just wanted to update you all as to why I've not uploaded and call out on this bullshit. I was getting so many people, there's so many people hyped on Twitter like, Oh my god, COD World War 2 is back, man! No, it's dead. 
it's gonna stay dead. Look at its Twitch viewers. I mean, Twitch and YouTube, the two biggest gaming sites in the world, and it's dead on both. There's no views for it on YouTube and on Twitch. No one gives a fuck about watching that live. People only care about Fortnite and PUBG and League of Legends. That is the honest truth. They're the only games people care to watch. The same can be said for Battlefield 1. That game is dead on Twitch, but all these COD fuckboys are getting so hyped, like, oh my god, oh my god, lads. Black Ops 4 is going to bury Fortnite. No, shut the fuck up. Black Ops 4 will not bury Fortnite in any way, shape or form. Fortnite is a free-to-play game. It's got the highest ever concurrent player count ever. Three times higher than Call of Duty has ever had. And Black Ops 4 will probably most likely be a disappointment as much as I don't want to say that. But COD's just getting shitter year after year after year after year, regardless of the setting. World War 2 couldn't redeem it. So Treyarch is last hope, lads. If you did enjoy the video though, guys, and you're against the COD cocksuckers, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I am back, lads. I am back. Leave me a comment to say you're happy to hear my voice again. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. If I die, no, I lived in missing bullets. I'm on the pursuit of happiness and I